Hey everyone, it's Kevin Jones with Life, Mine, and Money. Sorry it's been a while since I posted a video, but a lot of things have happened in my, in my life here recently. Um, some moves and jobs and meeting us that we had to move states, and so now we're in our brand new place here, and I wanted to kind of touch base with all of you. Um, certainly we are in unprecedented times right now. Um, with the crisis going on, uh, things are quite uh, scary out there, and I can completely understand. But hopefully, you know, through the videos that you, we've talked about before on this channel, uh, is making sure that you're prepared. And hopefully, you have taken steps to get there. But certainly, I want to talk about how has the stock market really bottomed out? Because there's a lot of talk about that. And where the market is going up and down, we really know, have a, no idea if it's going to bottom out and when that's going to happen. And does that create opportunity for you, even though you may be looking for work right this moment and everybody's situation is different? So we're going to kind of talk about that and kind of get into the subject. So since the beginning of uh, March, the stock market basically feels like the bottom has simply just fallen out. And obviously there's fear and there's panic about what's going on. And that unfortunately creates a lot of selling for many people who are trying to cash out as much as they can. I get it. It's fearful times and you're trying to protect whatever you have. And so your natural instinct is to sell. But as we talk about how a market is whether it's going to bother or not, there's a lot of different philosophies out there. And one in particular is that... Um, a famous person by you know Warren Buffett says that you are to be, when people are greedy, that is when you should be fearful. But when people are fearful, that's when you should be greedy. And as you start thinking about that, think about the fear that's in the market. That's why the, bo the bottom really did fall out. And it really bottomed around March 20th through the 22nd. And yet while the market's been on a rebound a little bit, it's slowly coming back again, even on today, which is April 1st. Certainly, you wish it was April Fool's Day, but we know that's not to be true. Now, when you start thinking about the market and looking for opportunities to buy, if you're in that kind of position, you know, first thing you got to consider is that we really don't know how much lower this can go. And unfortunately, with many other situations like this in the past, if you start looking at historicals, Markets don't bottom out until the worst of the worst has come. And while the uh, cases of this crisis keep going up and we keep watching the news as things are evolving, I don't believe the worst has come. I mean, just think, I'm sitting here in my own home in confinement because I'm trying to avoid what's going on out there in the world. And I know many of you are in the same boat. And if we're sitting here in our home in confinement, you know that the worst hasn't come yet and we haven't hit that, that peak where things start to come back down. So when you think about that happening and trying to get back on the road to recovery, but also you got to consider that there's other things in play here. With the massive stimulus packages, three of them in all, and now the latest one of $2 trillion that came out last week and got approved, we're now starting to hopefully start to see some recovery. But keep in mind that the amount of businesses that have been affected during this time, I mean, think about it. Now you got businesses, people out of work. Now you think about all of the company financials that'll be coming out over the next few weeks and months. I mean, there's give, companies are pulling back guidances. They're dropping dividends. Um, there's certainly a domino effect that I think is just starting to now come into play. And we truly don't know the full effects of how all of that's going to play out. Now, when the stock, the S&P bottomed uh, two weeks ago around 2200 and we're sitting around 2400 today, I believe that that low may be the basis of the low in all and may not uh, go underneath it. And I think it's going to be bouncing off of that for a while until our economy really starts getting on an incline and things start to recover. But that may be a month in the working. Now, keep in mind here is that I'm not a financial advisor. This is simply my opinion on this. But we still have a pretty strong economy. 
And I believe that that low will be tested from here and there over the next month or two. It may be longer. I just don't know. But I do believe at some point the market will rise and will start really climbing again as people start getting back to work. Those jobs start coming back into fruition and business starts getting on their feet. Hopefully the stimulus package will help all of you. Not just the, you know, the $1,200 the $1, or $2,400 if you're married coming to you here in the next few weeks from the government. But I'm also talking about you know, the other stimulus money that allows payroll to be extended and hopefully give just enough relief that will hopefully um, buoy enough businesses to keep their employees on and keep on working. I know everybody's situation is different right now. So when it comes to looking for opportunity, I know that we're in unprecedented times, but you think about if you've saved some money, you know, an emergency fund is more important now than ever before. And we talked about before about a three to six month emergency fund, enough to really protect your family and yourself through unprecedented times, just like before, just like now. And so if you feel like you have some cash on the sidelines and you're looking for opportunities, right now may be a better time to buy in the stock market than ever before. I will personally have been buying a, um, mutual funds and index funds as they've been coming down the market. Now, I don't know when the bottom's gonna happen. I would love to just put it all one big grab bag of money right at the bottom, but I don't know when that's gonna happen. So I'm looking for opportunities to put money in along the way. I would encourage you that if you do have any cash or you do or are in a good situation, to seek out counsel and seek out a financial advisor if you're working one or somebody that you trust um, to really help you put money in the market because I do believe this is a short-term issue. This is not a long-term prolonged thing like 2008. While there is a lot of correlation and similar um, things that are going on, I don't believe that this will linger two to three years. I believe this will happen maybe over six months to 12 months. But once again, that's my opinion. And so if the markets eventually in the year from now start rising back to the levels that they were before this all started, and if you start buying right now when things have you know, dropped 20, 30, 35% from lows highs and you buy now, this will be the greatest buying opportunity that may ever come in our generation. And so if those rise up, um, you can reap the rewards, especially if you're nearing retirement or if you're just starting your life, you've got years ahead. Just remember that many things happen in our life. Think about 2008. 2008 was a horrible situation for all of us, but we got through it and we got and we moved on and the stock market just took off and jobs came back and everything else and the mortgage um, crisis got worried, uh, fixed up as well. So now if you think about this, I think this is one of those situations where it's not fun to go with. It's not easy to talk about deaths and all of that, but if you look at it objectively as an opportunity for you to better yourself and grow, just like we talked about that 100-year chart of the S&P 500, this will go down as one of those blips on the chart um, as we look back in history. But over time, if you take that long-term approach of buy and hold um, for 10, 20, 30, 40 years, this will be another buying opportunity as well. So look objectively, look at those index funds, keep it cheap um, and invest for your own future because I believe this is a better opportunity than you'll ever find ever again. Because hopefully we don't go through other crises like this. Nobody likes to go through these. It was just 12 years ago then we went through another one and now we're dealing with this one under different circumstances. So just keep out there, be safe everyone, but if you are prepared, like we've talked about in other videos on this channel, then look for opportunities to buy and buy smartly and spread it out. We talked about before, dollar cost averaging is the key here. And that's what will help you um, look for buying opportunities and kind of spread it out. So then years down the road, you'll look back and say, I'm so grateful that I took advantage of that situation because then I was able to grow a bunch of wealth from it to achieve whatever your dreams are, whether that's retirement or uh, buying homes or whatever you're after, this was an opportunity for you to take advantage of and really prosper from it. So once again, I'm gonna stop here and say, everybody be safe, hunker down. I hope everybody gets through this just like I'm trying to and taking care of my own kids and being an educator. 
But once again, the stock market is going to be hitting those lows for a while now. So just keep things going. I want people to be safe out there. If you don't mind, please hit that like button as we talked about before. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't before and I will try to weekly provide some different updates and opinions on what's going on out there in the market and the situations to help you prepare for life. With that, I wish you adieu and everybody stay safe out there.